There are five main layouts on these Cisco video endpoints. Grid, stack, overlay, prominent, and focus. We're gonna take a look at all of them in a video only type of meeting, and then we're gonna look at them uh, very similarly in a content scenario. Things do change a little bit when there's content on the screen. So either way, we're gonna take a look at both. Stay tuned to the end to make sure that you understand the differences. First of all, I am in grid view behind me right now. I have a five by five grid available on any of these endpoints, assuming you have enough people in the meeting and assuming there's enough bandwidth to drive it. In this case, you see those participants behind me. Uh, I'm using a WebEx board. This is gonna be very similar on anything from a desk mini, a desk pro, even the larger endpoints uh, as well, the room, the dedicated room systems, you can actually toggle these settings on the Touch 10 or the Navigator tablet as well. Let's talk about the layouts. This is the five x five grid view. Uh, assuming everything is working correctly with the endpoint, you should be able to get five x five. Of course, you need to have enough people in the WebEx meeting for that to uh, need to happen, but you can get five x five. And if there's not enough people available, it just downscales to four by four, three by three, two, and so forth. Stack view puts the primary participant who is the active speaker at any given time inside the, the prominent position on the screen. And then it puts a stacked film strip above them. Overlay is similar to stacked, but reversed. Uh, but in this case, the film strip is actually technically over top of the active speaker's image. You can kind of see that here. Uh, slightly different, again, film strips at the bottom, and it's overlaying instead of stacking on top of. Prominent is pretty cool because it puts the active speaker on the screen, and then the other participants in the meeting fill in around it. You'll see some difference with this one, particularly when we look at content as well, so don't miss that. Uh, last but not least, focus is just the presenter all the time, no one else, and minimizes those distractions as much as possible. I mentioned that content changes the game a little bit, and it does. The first view that I'm gonna show you is the stacked view. Now this is the default for when you're sharing content. It essentially is the same as stacked in a video only mode, but the content takes that prominent position and then the active presenter is going to be in the film strip above it in the most prominent position uh, on that film strip. Again, remember this is the default, so this is where you're gonna land when you first have content shared into the call. You can of course toggle this to something like side by side, which essentially puts a thump set of thumbnails next to the content, content on the, uh, the left, the people on the right. There's an overlay similar to uh, what we saw in video only mode where you can actually overlay the film strip over top of the content. There's prominent, which is very similar. As you can see though, it is person uh, next to or active speaker next to the content and then other boxes, uh, thumbnails underneath. Last but not least, focus is just the content. So again, you can focus on what's being presented without anything overlaying any portion of the screen or distracting you otherwise. Anyhow, like anything in technology, as soon as this video is out, you will probably notice some new features coming. Not uncommon at all, but uh, it's all good. Hit that notification bell and I will do my best to keep you up to date. Uh, thank you always for watching and I hope to see you back sometime soon.